know, we might put the bucket on the end of that stick and see what happens. What do you reckon? What I gotta do now is find a black, oh, find a black bucket. But I might do that without my bee suit on. Then you can see my pretty face. Well, don't be too mean. <laughs> Now before everybody leaps to my lovely wife's defence, she's bought herself a new drill and technically I've adopted this one. So I'm not really sure whether that makes it my drill or still her drill, because if it's still her drill, I'd probably look after it better. So maybe we'll leave it as her drill. Anyway, emergency, emergency, trees in a bee, and trees in a, bees in a, blah, 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 bees in a tree. The bloody wild bush man's thinking I'm not climbing 20 foot up in the air on a swinging ladder on a windy day. So I'm going to put a pot on the end of a pole and maybe we can just knock them into that. But hell, hey, I've got a good idea. This bloke's pretty tall. I'll stand on his shoulders. That'd be like sort of a bit of good footage. Okay, so anyway, ah, these are not, these are probably not the right size bloody gutter bolts that I found, but they're just a little bit long and they're even new. So that's a bit exciting. The <laughs> first new thing. This here bloody an old veranda thing, I don't know, sun veranda. I think it was at my daughter's house and there was a whirly wind turned up and three quarters of it's all bent up and shit. So this is why you shouldn't throw anything away. Well, I don't know about that, but still. Oh, that's a bit of fun. <laughs> a bit like being a drone, isn't it? Trying to get it in. Uh, right. Oh, uh, <sighs> the things that happen around here is ridiculous. <laughs> Have a little spanner. <laughs> here we go. That'd shock you, wouldn't it? I'm even going to do up the nuts. Well, let's not get too carried away. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. Anyway, <laughs> so we go up there like that. We might have to take a ladder as well. Like that, and then just go. And then that all land on my head. <laughs> what do you reckon? I reckon that's somewhere in the realms of really bloody ambitious, or perhaps completely stupid. Oh, last year I think I had five called outs, and now this year I'm getting five in a day. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Your duke was in good condition until you passed away and let me get older. Right, we'll hang a rag on the back of that. And then off we go. Off we go for bee rescue number, th what, three today. Golly gosh. Well, that's why men in the supermarket never ask for directions, is it? Don't want to be embarrassed that you weren't listening the first time and you got told what was going on. Oh, I don't think we're that clever. This is that moment when your phone goes flat and you go, oh crap. Oh, I should have bloody run her up. Hey champ, how you going? That's the way, hey I've forgotten what number you are. Yeah, I was, I was under the uh, shade house out the back of it. hear this noise. Yeah, 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 and they went, whoa! <laughs> See that, the top of that tree there. Oh yes, oh beautiful spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have done much better. Oh, that's right, we've, we've made a makeshift bucket, so we'll see what happens. Well, Mike, can I come with you? I might go inside as well. Yeah. <laughs> we'll all go inside and have a beer and just let them wait till they bugger off. <laughs> oh. oh, they do that. This time of year, it's crazy. It's been a, been a crazy year for them this year. Normally they're not quite this bad, but... No. Yeah, you don't see it like they get down in the lavender and a couple of things, mm. but they're not. Yeah. No, 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 they're, they're, they're looking for a home. Last yes. thing you want them is in your blooming swimming pool filter or something. Oh, yeah, I reckon I'll go and put this out there first. And then, and then I'll probably drop a box of bees on my head. God, there you go, but we'll find out. I haven't done this before. I saw a bloke the other day on the net and he was trying to catch me, catch him, he caught him in a shopping bag. And then he started swinging the shopping bag around his head because of course they were biting him. 
And of course then the bag let go, and that was entertainment. <laughs> Let's not do that. This is one of those dopey fold up ladders. Give me the horrors because they go every a little bit at a time. Well they don't go at all unless you don't get it right. Probably smell me. <laughs> yeah. Useless bloody thing. Uh, okay. Oh, they're good because they fold up, but God, they're a pain. They shouldn't click so many times. <laughs> Hell, exhausting, isn't it? <laughs> stupid. Anyway, hopefully not too stupid. We'll find out. <laughs> hopefully my ladder doesn't fall over. That'll suck. I might go the other side because I just climbed up my ladder and found out there's no roof on the shade out. So I'll go around there. <laughs> so I figure if I miss fire, he can drop right on my head. Anyway, I'll go and get my patented bucket, but I think I'll put my suit on because I'm not I'm not quite that brave. Or stupid. Now I figure we'll knock them into this pot and tip them into our other pot, and then we'll probably have bees everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, we will see. What do you reckon? <laughs> hey this might be on the this might be on that bloody instructables video. <laughs> How to do stupid shit in people's backyards. <laughs> Here's our emergency pole catching device. Oh god. Yeah, that's a long way up. Anyway, hopefully I don't fall off the ladder. I just that'd be pretty crap. <laughs> yeah, it gets a lot further up than you think. Do you want to hit the post? <laughs> How the hell are we going to do that? Do I'm, I'm, am I really going to stand on the next rung? Fucking hell. Tiffany will kill me. Are you ready? Yeah. A little few. Yeah. Put them in the box. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Good one. There we go. Oh my god. It's not a very big swarm. <laughs> oh yeah, now that's a seriously scary and stupid. I think she's got there. I think she might be. Fucking hell. <laughs> Let her fairly good. She had a... It was nearly all gone, I thought. Ah, oh, God. Close. <laughs> uh. <sighs> oh, I'm an ill, lad. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> We've got six bees. <laughs> in there or not. Oh, they're definitely persistently clustering up there. Aren't they? Because they, they were all gone in, in the air. But they're not over keen to come here. Well, some of them are. I don't know. I don't know, lad. thinking about congregating there but it might just be that they all want to be together. Oh, how the hell are we going to get that out of there? Well, the plan is I thought if I cut that branch off because it's such a got these great big seed pods you can't knock her out so I don't know I borrowed the, borrowed the lad's ladder I'm thinking I'll put it up there and I might raise the garden and see if I can find a saw. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. That's going to land straight on that bloody box. I don't think we'll leave that up there. <laughs> Otherwise, the next thing you know, we'll have a big bloody mess. Won't we? safety practices today. It's a nice view of the river from up here. <laughs> that only looked like a little branch. <laughs> oh God. Here she comes. Seriously shaking. Pointless, wasn't it? Oh, I think it's more going out than coming in. I don't know, they might be thinking about it. I think I'm exhausted. That hurt because I was cutting it with a weird angle. <laughs> but anyway, they're thinking about congregating, so we might have got her in there. Well, maybe she's in the air going, where the hell? <laughs> Let's see if we can get them in the box. Well, at least they, I reckon we must have got her first up. They just was going back to her scent up in the branch. Yep, I think we'll just see if we can get them in the pot. Not that there's a hell of a lot of them, but still. <laughs> Did they stay there? Yep. Yeah. 
It's not an ideal box really, I should have a smooth edge. Well there you go, that's how you use a bucket on a stick. Or a pot on a stick. To catch a bee box, their backs have swarm out of a tree. Get another lesson learnt on the bush bee man. By me as well as you. <laughs> Now what we need is to be knock the pot off the ledge here and go poof on the ground. I reckon we're going to put it on the ground and get these girls off of here. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> we'll just get rid of my emergency bucket. <laughs> My step ladder while the girls settle down. Okay. Well, entertainment. <laughs> Things we do on a Friday are both. It's just a little tiny swarm, so I'm just going to put them in a little newt box so they don't get too carried away. Just pop it over here for the rest of the ones we've caught this week. <laughs> Just give them a little tap. A little on the bottom. We're getting a bit desperate for boxes around here, for little boxes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, girls? Oh, goodness me. Well, I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm glad the next swarm that we just had a phone call back about that they've just buggered off somewhere else, so maybe we don't have to worry about them. Perhaps I can go inside and have a drink. <sighs> what a mad day! <laughs>